A mechanical tuner is going to be a great friend to you as you learn to play the guitar. This tool will allow you to stay in tune no matter what the situation. So here's how it works. There's a lot of different types of this and they basically work in the same way. So there's an on button usually right on the center or on the side and you'll hit that and you'll see an indication that it's on, it'll light up. Then you're gonna take the tuner and you're gonna clip it on to this part of your guitar which is called the head of the guitar. Because it's clipped here, it's going to work on the vibration of the string as you hit it. So you don't have to be plugged in if you're an electric guitar player. That's what makes this great. You could be in your living room with a lot of people talking. You could be backstage at a club. Anywhere you are, this is going to work. So the next step is you're gonna play each string individually. I'm gonna start here. This is the lowest string. This is the E string. So what we're looking for is the letter E to pop up. you'll see that there's a pattern on each type of tuner. And when the letter comes up, the letter that lasts the longest, that's the note that you're playing. That's the one you're looking for. And you want the pattern to be consistent. Different tuners may indicate differently when you're in tune or out of tune. There may be different colors. It may show it on different sides. It's really important to read the little booklet that comes with your tuner and it'll tell you exactly what to expect. If you need to make the string tighter, if you need the note to go up, you turn your tuning peg towards the top of your guitar. If you need the note to go lower, you turn it towards this part, the body of the guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the string too low on purpose. I'm gonna turn it down. You can see what happens. So you'll see that the lights on this one are low. They're beneath the letter, and that means you have to go up just a little bit. And now it's right in the center of the design. So now we're in tune. If I was too high, you'll see the lights on top of the letter. And that means I have to come down by turning it this way. And there it's in the center. So for each one, here's the A string. You'll see that's right in the center, so we're good. Here's the D string. Every once in a while like that, you'll see a different note flash, and that's because of the way the guitar resonates. When you hit the string, sometimes other notes are included in that overall note. But again, you're looking for the one that stays the most consistent. That's the note that you're on. Here's the string called G. We're right in the center. Here's the B string, the second string. Right in the center. And here's the last string is also called E. One important tip to remember is that you'll notice that I'm not turning the pegs very much when I'm turning them. Especially when you turn them tighter, you don't wanna to turn too much or that could break your string. So you wanna go nice and slow, nice and easy, and just watch for the note you're looking for. So we'll go through this as the class progresses. You'll know, you'll remember, you'll memorize what the names of the strings are and then you'll know what to look for here. When you're done, you're gonna take it off and in some tuners when you flip it down, it automatically turns off or this one is set to turn off in 10 minutes so that the battery doesn't run out. I always make sure to hit that button though, just in case. And then you'll see an indication, some lights will flash and it'll tell you that it's turned off. There's generally a little light right on the bottom of your screen that'll let you know if it's on or off so you don't run out of battery. And these are the little round batteries you can get. I would grab a few of them and just throw them in your guitar case. So this is a tool I think you should get and uh, it'll take you through a lot of great playing opportunities.